Hi everybody and welcome to a Dental Assistant Tutor. Today I would like to go over the Toffenmeyer and how to put it together. A lot of assistants get confused with it and a lot of my students do too, so I'm going to show you. This is for a molar band, okay? And what you're going to do, it has like little butterfly wings on it. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to fold it not crease it right here you don't want to crease it okay and then you're going to hold it at the very end like this and you're going to flip and see which side is larger okay the larger side is the smooth side because this is a molar band the wings at the bottom are going to go around the gingiva so you're going to fold it like that remember not to crease it you're going to take your Toffenmeyer, and this is your matrix band, comes in different sizes. And there's a slot right there. You're going to slide that slot or this band into the slot like that. And you're going to make sure you engage it right into both those slots. So you got right here into there and there. Okay. So you have that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to hold it so it doesn't come out. And you're going to tighten it, okay, by the outer nut. Sometimes you have to hold this nut, okay, to tighten it. That is if you want to just keep them in your drawers ready to go um, in case there's like an emergency or a work-in. You always have those throughout the day. So it's good to have things prepared ahead of time. So anyway... I'm going to undo it just a little bit because now we have to decide, is it for the lower right or the lower left? So I'm going to do it for the lower right and I'm going to, there's a slot on the outside. I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it just like that, right? And then I'm going to tighten it again. And then you can place it around the tooth. Now, once you have this ready, some doctors will let their assistants do it. Okay? It saves time. And we don't do a lot of amalgam fillings that need it anymore. Um, but occasionally, you'll need it due to insurance. And once you have it on the tooth, you're going to wrap, put it like a ring. And then you're going to tighten the inner knob and it's going to start to hug the tooth you gotta see what i'm doing here okay oh it bit me and you just keep tightening it okay but what my model is going to be difficult to do but you want to just hold it there put your finger on it and then tighten the knot okay notice it's sticking outside the mouth and not down the throat, okay? So, just like when you're taking x-rays, you're going to use it for the lower right. The yellow posterior ring kit, same with your Toffenmeyer. So, lower right, upper left, okay? And we was to switch this around, it'd be the lower left, upper right, okay? If you seem to have made creases in it, what you will need to do is take the end of your mirror and you're going to just smooth it like that and make it round. Okay. That's one on one on the top of Meyer matrix band. Remember, there's different sizes. Never make a crease, slide it in the slot, have some pre made, impress your boss, and then turn it to the right or to the left. Okay? And remember, stay positive out there. Have a great day and be blessed. The Dental Tutor. And if you need some assisting, I'm around the world. Um, you can find me on my, um, it's called HTTPS, the semicolon forward slash forward slash. And it's the Dental Assistant uh, Index, the Dental Index Junior dot Weebly dot com. And the link's below on the channel. And if you're a dentist and you want to sponsor me, I'm open to sponsors. 
because I need to keep this going for all the dental assistants around the world that might need that extra guidance and is just too afraid to ask at work. And I just want everybody to just do a great job out there and get along and just have a great work day and make that production. Bye, guys.